Hey, I'm Goose and welcome to Pocket. Today I'm checking out Trackmania Turbo, which is coming out on March 25th and is currently running in an open beta on Xbox One and PS4. I, however, will be checking it out on PC, which is where the series originated, and let's be honest, where it belongs. And as John tells me, this is a hyper-realistic racing sim on par with iRacing. Ain't that right, John? No. Yeah. Alright, let's get in there and manage our pit crew's salaries. Okay, let's start with a campaign. Solo campaign. Whoa, that's a lot of tracks. Grand Canyon Drift. Alright. <laughs> I'm being dropped from a helicopter. Okay, so I can choose to select a medal, and obviously I race with a ghost racer there, so let's go for gold. Alright, this is not looking safe. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! That's awesome! Every racing game should start like that. Boosts. Big jump. Oh my lord! We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it! Oh. That's a very short racing career. I believe we can reset. Yes, we can. Back up to the helicopter. All right. Disposable drivers. That's what this game focuses on. Here we go. And let's get a little drift. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Okay, straighten up. Dead straight, dead straight. Don't even move. Don't even move. Yeah. yeah. Hey, get out of there. <laughs> Where was that? Come on. No, it's... Checkpoint. Oh, this is a difficult first track, I'll be honest. Go, 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 catch him! Oh, I'm gonna catch him. Oh! Oh, that was it. Silver! That's not bad. I can live with that. Okay, next track. Obviously, you don't need gold on every track to progress. Maybe later on you will. I kind of liked being dropped out of a helicopter. I'm gonna go back to that. Oh, no! This is the stuff I'm after. Yeah! Oh, no! What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? First person view. I didn't ask for that. That was quite nauseating. In an awesome way. Big drift. Oh, that felt good. Gold medal! And a bit of an O face happening there. Sorry about that. It's a good feeling though. Oh, hairpins. Yeah, get into it. Yeah. Oh, I've just discovered I'm amazing at this game. Gold again. All right. I know I'm being a little too eager at this stage because the game is only going to get incredibly tough. Uh, I remember playing the previous game in the series and that had some tracks which just looked physically impossible. So I'm kind of excited to get to something like that, like this, with a loop. But for now, I'm going to take my gold and I'm going to be happy with it. Because at this very moment in time, I'm awesome at Trackmania Turbo. I take it all back. I do like that it's, it's a time chaser as well and that there's the option to have your friends on there because that's the kind of thing that would get this game just constantly booted up on my computer. The, the fear that someone is out there beating my time. And games that do that, uh, it's like Trials HD, uh, one of the Need for Speeds was the first to really make that a hook of their franchise. Because if anything gets you across the line, it's cold-hearted competitiveness with your nearest and dearest. Whoa! Yeah, so clearly going fast the whole time isn't the goal because you can take jumps a little too fast and find yourself rocketing off the track. But I just don't want to use the brake. The game does nothing to tell me, hey, slow down. It just has like neon signs saying, faster, go over every jump. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no! I can still make it. No. Games with quick restarts can be a worry. You can find yourself just impulsively hitting reset, even when you don't need to. Okay, so just medium pace off this one. Wait, we got it? We, what? Uh! Not quite enough. Okay, this difficulty just suddenly stepped up a notch. Here we go, okay, here we go. Not full speed, just kind of ease off the... Can't do anything when I'm in the air. Yeah! Nailed it. Whoa, here we go. Oh yeah. This is the kind of stuff you want to play in VR. This is awesome! Sorry, I just regressed to like a 12 year old child on that corner. That is what this game is. It is just unbridled childhood joy. Yeah, I'm beating you. Finish line. That's a gold. And they're nice. I kind of, I'm starting to like how short the tracks are because they're just these quick little bursts of enjoyment. And if you do fail, it's not too much to restart. Although I am guessing that the tracks later on are gonna get like monumentally large. 
and I'm going to lose days and days of sleep over them. Okay, I think we've unlocked some other tracks, so let's jump out and have a look. Okay, so we've got Down and Dirty Valley. It's actually counting how many medals I'm unlocking in this series, and then that subsequently unlocks more difficult tracks in that map. Okay, so I need to get a gold medal in every track up to that 160 to unlock that batch. Whoa, that's not gonna happen. I'm a bronze man. Oh, I was silver. <laughs> I think I'm a bronze guy now. I can see the appeal in bronze. Okay, I think I'm in a new car. Little buggy, it's got better steering. There are some interesting physics going on under the hood. Whoa! And you can definitely feel the difference in grip when you're on tarmac or dirt or upside down loop the loops of hell. Whoa! Noise. Burning rubber. Dirt is hard. No! Okay, so this is the final track on the dirt series. Come on, I need to get bronze. Bronze, baby! Let's go! Yes! I was the first of the losers. Roller Coaster Lagoon. <laughs> no. I saw the thumbnail of the first track. I think I'm gonna need a bucket. Oh my lord. That's not a racetrack. What kind of monstrosity is this? Just hang on and enjoy the ride. That's awesome! Oh no. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa! Oh lord! Those corners really catch up to you! Whoa! This is a grippy car. Panda! Up we go! Oh man! You stick to the track! Come on, come on! I've got this. Focus. There goes my spoiler. Didn't need it. Silver! Peter, I want to do one more. Look at the detail. The unnecessary detail that I go rocketing past at a million miles an hour. Come on, stick to the tarmac. That was it? Peter, I want to do one more. Last track. We're going to go for gold. We're going to get it first time. Pocketeers. Observe. Whoa! <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was holding down the sideways button. One more peep! <laughs> okay, off we go. I don't even know, is this a track? It's like still under construction. Yeah, we got it, we got it! Rip to the- Whoa! <laughs> is that a corkscrew? Ah! Let's get around the corner, go! We're doing it! We're doing- Congratulations, game. I'm gonna play you for a long time. Engine off. Caution. What? John, what's happening? We got the bronze! Which was the goal at the beginning, if I recall what I said at the start. Alright, that's enough Track Mania. I think we're gonna leave it there. Okay, so that was Track Mania Turbo, and if you can't already tell from my shaky, sweaty palms, it's a lot of fun. The biggest thing I'm getting from this game is an awesome sense of nostalgia to an old arcade racer, like I mentioned, something you would play at an arcade at a cinema or something. Just that reckless speed and crazy physics, and it doesn't take itself too seriously, it's just having a lot of fun. Now, one of the features we didn't look at is a track creator, which is there, considering that I doubt I'm gonna get through all of the tracks in the career mode, so it's nice to know there is something Something there that I can play with later on and maybe experiment like a giant Hot Wheels track set. And I can already tell there are going to be some amazing creations made by the community because that's what a game like this thrives on, that kind of community content where these sort of uh, tracks dominate things like Reddit and YouTube and you're going to see some insane creations. I am looking forward to checking out those tracks later on but for now I'm just happy to bronze my way through the campaign mode. Alright that's it for today's episode of Pocket, goose out!